Hi guys, this is Rusty 78609. I just wanted to give you a short video on how I've gotten my stuff hooked up to my 120 amp hour battery. I'm, I'm using solar now. I'm off grid totally. Uh, and I just want let me show you how I've got this hooked up. I do have a pure sine wave inverter right here. Okay. And it's plugged into this three-way outlet that goes directly to the battery. All right. Now, Whenever I'm, I'm using the inverter, I plug in here whatever I want to use uh, that's using 110, and this, or, yeah, 110, and uh, this converts it from, tw from 12 volt to 110. Okay, that's what this inverter does. This is a 300 watt uh, pure sine wave or, or a 600 watt surge. Uh, and of course, this right here is the Dometic uh, plug from the CF18. And then I've got one other plug, and that's for the TV. All right, so three items are directly plugged into the battery. All right, now if I add the Google Home device, the speaker, or anything else, what I have to do is, because I, if I'm going to watch TV, I need to plug in the Roku. The Roku has to have power, and it, and it uses 110. So what I do is, is I have a little uh, three-way outlet plug that plugs right in here to the inverter if you can see that plug yeah it just plugs right in there it's just a triple outlet uh, plug that goes in there and I plug in the Roku and the Google Home and that's it right now that's all I have and then that's everything I run even when I'm at home so the reason I do that is because whenever you're using an inverter to convert 12 volt to 110 uh, you're losing energy two ways. One is the pure sine wave inverter uses power. That's one. And then it also uses power to convert uh, the, the 12 volt to 110. All right, so you got a little energy loss there. So th uh, that's only when I'm using those things. Now the refrigerator is plugged in directly to the battery, the AGM battery. And the, and the refrigerator is on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The TV, the 12 volt TV, will also be plugged directly into the battery whenever I use it. All right, and so that's how that all works. And I just thought I'd give you a heads up. So, see, I don't have much energy loss. And there's another one of these plugs here where the solar plugs in on the other side and goes outside. But anyway, having uh, I just wanted to show how my bat what my battery hookup looks like. So, anyway, hit a thumbs up, guy, thumbs up, cross, got a cut <laughs> thumbs up carpe diem adios bye bye buy anything you want but use the amazon link if you think about it i'm an amazon affiliate if you buy anything from amazon using the link i get a small commission and it doesn't cost you a dime and this is the dometic cf18 refrigerator and uh, it's got all my stuff in it and i've got plenty of room left the temperature in there right now is about 35 degrees which is fine and it just sips energy it's the greatest thing since fried chicken for people that uh, are boondocking or RVing or excuse me dry camping or whatever but anyway uh, what else uh, take deep breaths stretch walk drink plenty of water you know keep your health and that way you'll enjoy your life but anyway just a quick heads up pretty neat huh this is the inverter 300 watt pure sine wave and that's important if you're going to be using anything basically but if you're going to be using laptop computers and charging your cell phone and all that stuff yeah, this is the way you want to go. It has a, it has a U, two US, it has one USB port here, and then a 110 outlet here, so you can charge your phone directly from the inverter if you choose to. But I have two little one, two little USB ports in the RV that I use for charging my phone and stuff. But anyway, having said that, guys, enjoy your day, enjoy your weekend. Adios, bye bye.